Hello everyone, my name is Saqib Ahmed and I am a data science intern at Bharat Intern and this is my first project that is SMS classifier, a text classification model to classify whether the SMS is spam or not. My project is divided into number of stages. First, data gathering, data cleaning, exploratory data analysis, text pre-processing, model building, evolution of model and the website. First of all, import all the necessary libraries that is NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seabone. After that, loading the data set of spam and store in a variable tf. Now, use df.shape which gives 5572 rows and 5 columns. Now, df.info gives the data, data, data type of the column. Uh, and the number of null values here we can see that there are three columns that is unnamed 2, unnamed 3, unnamed 4 which have more than 90% null value so I decided to drop all these columns to drop all these columns I use drop underscore columns now here we can see that there are two columns v1 and v2 which cannot make any sense as the column name so I, I decided to uh, give the custom column name v1 stand for target and v2 for text now apply label encoder for indicating 0 as a ham messages and 1 as a spam messages now df.isnull.sum gives the uh, null values and here we can see that there are no null values in the target and the text column now I'm checking the uh, duplicate value duplicate rows in our data set and here you can see that we have 403 duplicate rows so I decided to drop all these duplicate rows from our data set now exploratory data analysis part K now df.target.value underscore counts uh, here by doing this we can see that we have 4516 ham messages and 653 spam messages after that we can see the distribution of ham and spam messages in percentage there are 87.4 percentage are ham messages and 12.6 are spam messages next the text processing using an ltk library part came and here i Count the number of characters in a message, count the number of words in a message, and count the number of sentences in a message. To do all these operations, first of all, I have to install NLTK library that is Natural Language Toolkit. After that, you can also go down use NLTK.downloadpunk that is used to work for some dependency for NLTK. Now uh, creating new column that is num underscore character and store the number of characters of a, uh, of a message and now uh, create another column name num underscore words and store the size of the words of a message and also make another column name num underscore sentences and store the number of sentences of a message individual message now we can see the descriptive statistics of the of the above new created column and here we can see that uh, the descriptive statistic is five uh, average now average value of num underscore character is 78 percentage num underscore word is 18 percentage and num underscore sentence is 1.6 and also we can see the specific ham messages descriptive statistic part here we can see the num underscore characters average 70 percentage num underscore word 17 percentage and num underscore sentence 1.8 percentage and many other information that is uh, we can see that like count standard deviation minimum 25 percentage 50 percentage 74 75 percentage and max values by seeing the above data, we can conclude that 
spam messages is larger in size compared to ham messages now we can see the distribution of ham messages and spam messages character here we can see uh, the uh, spam messages have more number of characters uh, compared to ham messages and in the word part here we can also see the same that uh, spam messages have more number of characters compared to ham messages now we can find the relation between the number of characters and the words and here we can see that uh, are some outliers in our data and uh, for this I use a pair plot so I go go to and explore it further now we can see the correlation coefficient of these columns on the target num underscore character num words and num sentences uh, to do this uh, to uh, to want to see the uh, data in a better format here I use a heat map now by seeing the heat map we can see that target is making 0.38 correlation with the number of characters column so it makes if the number of characters are more the tendency to be one is more that is spam messages uh, and also note that machine learning is uh, work on a numerical data and our data is a textual data uh, uh, so we have to do our data pre-processing tasks and these are the below tasks that we have performing in data processing that is convert values in lower case tokenization that is process of breaking down text into smaller units removing special characters removing stop words and punctuation and doing lemmatization that is to reduce the words to their base or root form to do the to do all these operations first of all importing all the necessary modules that is stop words potter streamers and string and uh, the function is transform underscore text which is used for data preprocessing part now uh, now doing the uh, using this uh, code the values are stored in a new column named transform underscore text and this column act uh, transform underscore text column act as a input columns and target column act as a output column but here is the part comes that target column act as a numerical column but transform underscore text column act as a uh, textual column so we have to figure it also in later but now we can see the top words used in spam messages using a word cloud here we can see uh, these are the words like you know, free text send for messages claims etc are the words that are frequently used in spam messages and we can also see the top words in ham messages that is love go time good need these are the common words or most frequently words used in a ham messages now we can see the top 40 words used in a spam messages using a bar plot and also we can see the top 40 words used in a ham messages using bar plot also now the data model part came and here we can uh, note that machine learning algorithm works on our numerical data and our data is a textual data so uh, on textual data the navy based algorithm work perfectly fine rather than other algorithms so i decided to use navy based algorithms and also using the count vectorizer because it simplifies the text into numbers by counting how often words appears and so you know, to use the count vectorizer uh, with navi based algorithm import all the modules and also do uh, uh, and also do a test train test uh, a split and train the model also uh, so here we note that navi based as we do not know the data distribution so i decided to use all the navi based algorithm i question a uh, navi based algorithm multinomial navi based algorithm and bernoulli navi based algorithm and also one important thing that i use 
uh, that uh, I use uh, a precision scores, accuracy score, and confusion matrix uh, as a performance matrix. And uh, as we know that SMS classifier is a high precision model, so our um, our importance on precision score is more rather than accuracy scores. So here I use a Gaussian Navy based algorithm using count factorizer and we can see that the accuracy score is 88 percentage and precision score is 53 percentage which is very low for our model. So I decided to drop uh, this algorithm. Moving forward to multinomial Navy based algorithms, now here we can see the accuracy score is 96 percentage, confusion matrix is 80. Is, uh, 80 is 871, 25, 12, and 126, and the precision score is 83, which is also a very low. So I also skip this algorithms. Moving forward to Bernoulli Navy based algorithm using count factorizer, here we can see that the accuracy score is 97 percentage, and precision score is also 97 percentage, which is good enough. But I also want to expose some other algorithms. <laughs> So I use the TFT vectorizer that is it assigns scores to words based on the importance in each documents across the entire data set. So I import uh, these modules and using and also train trace split and here we can see that using a Gaussian Navy based algorithm using TFT vectorizer here the accuracy score is 86 percentage and precision score is 50 percentage which is very less so i also decided to skip this algorithm moving forward to multinomial navy based algorithm using tfd vectorizer here we can see the accuracy score is 97 percentage and the precision score is 100 percentage which means that this model does not give any false positive so i can so till now i can say that we will use a multinomial navy based algorithm but uh, we can also use some other algorithm also uh, so here we can see the Bernoulli navy based algorithm using count factorizer here we can see that the accuracy score is 98 percentage and precision score is 99 percentage so till now we can say that multinomial navy based algorithm using tfd vectorizer are best but moving forward I am exploring some other algorithm also like logistic regression, decision tree classifier, k neighbor classifier, and random forest classifier. Importing all the, uh, importing all the algorithms, creating objects using dictionary to store the objects, train test uh, split part, train the model, and uh, store all the accuracy and precision scores of individual algorithms in a data frame named performance underscore data mm -hmm. and by seeing the data frame we can conclude or uh, make a decision that navy multinomial navy based algorithm using tfd vectorizer is best for our sms classifier project because the precision score is 100 percentage and the accuracy is 95 which is best because it does not give any false true as k neighbor is also achieved the precision score but the accuracy falls shorter compared to multinomial navy based algorithm using tfd vectorizer so i import pickles and do a serializing and serializing and now we can see the code of which i use in a sms spam classifier so this is the python code for the sms spam classifier importing all the necessary library uh, and use also using a transform underscore text functions uh, the code is here that we do in a data processing part add a button here and now i, I am running this code to see my website transform string so this is my project website of a sms spam classifier now
we can check our model so here we can see that this message is a spam message next we can see So here we can see that this message is not a spam message. So here is all about my project. Thank you very much.